Of the legal battle between Arkansas County and the owner of a crypto mine just outside the DeWitt city limits continued in federal court today. The party's trying to come to an agreement in the form of a consent decree that would end the litigation. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley was at the courthouse and has more now. Andrew. The hearing today certainly appeared to go in favor of Arkansas County, which has been on the back foot for a while in its months-long legal struggle with Jones Digital. Jones Digital sued the county after it passed a noise ordinance last October aimed at the company's crypto mine, still under construction. In November, a federal judge struck down that noise ordinance. Since then, private citizens in the county say Jones Digital has been subpoenaing them, even though they aren't party to the lawsuit, demanding phone records and more. That really initiated concerns with those of us as citizens about our personal rights being infringed upon. Um, and so, this has continued and we in turn hired a lawyer to support and represent us um, to file objections to those subpoenas. Hornbeck and three other Arkansas County citizens who have been subpoenaed withdrew their motion to intervene in the lawsuit when both parties came to an agreement today to add language protecting their constitutional rights and exempting them from subpoenas. The rights of the non-party individuals in Arkansas County and actually in the state now uh, have been preserved and so we accomplished that mission. Presiding Judge Lee Rudofsky also ordered serious revisions to the consent decree, which he called crazy broad in its language, such that it would unnecessarily hamstring Arkansas County. Rudofsky said that Jones Digital appeared to be intending to use the consent decree as protection if the state amends Arkansas's crypto mining laws, something that is looking very likely at the ongoing fiscal session in which two bills regulating the industry have already been passed in the Senate. The basis for Jones Digital's lawsuit against Arkansas County is is the protections given crypto miners in Act 851, the controversial law passed last legislative session that limits local government control. Ultimately, Rudolfsky told Jones Digital's attorneys that the consent decree needs work to make sure it does not violate public policy. Rudolfsky also said he was concerned that because the litigation is so expensive for Arkansas County, it may yield and agree to an unfair consent decree from Jones Digital. The case between our Arkansas County and Jones Digital, it's, you know, quite imbalance in, you know, the amount of resources that our county has versus a company like Jones Digital, which is one of the, is connected to, you know, one of the top businesses in the world. Now, with new crypto mining bills that give power back to local governments drawing closer to being signed into law, things are beginning to look up for Arkansas County. Looks like the Arkansas legislature is well on their way to making some significant changes. Judge Radovsky recognized that that was possible today. And therefore, he wanted to make sure, and we greatly appreciate his wisdom, that, that there would be conformity and fairness. You can see the consent decree proposed this morning and the revised version on KATV.com. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. Okay, Andrew, thank you. Stay with Channel 7 to learn the fate of those two crypto mining bills. They're back on the agenda next week at the fiscal session. They go to a House committee on Tuesday.